Hello dear CLAT aspirants, I hope you all are doing well. So in this video, we will be discussing the last one month preparation strategy for SLAT. What is SLAT? SLAT is your Symbiosis Law Admission Test. And in my previous video that was released in the month of January, in that video we had covered all the basic details of SLAT exam. Ki uske uh, forms kab release honge and uske last date and everything. Every minute detail about the SLAT exam has been covered in that previous video. And it will be put in the description below as well. So you can refer back to the video if you are not aware of SLAT exam. Alright, so this video is specifically for the last one month preparation strategy of your SLAT. Alright, so let's begin with the video. I will quickly cover the basic details once again. So, um, the name of the exam is Symbiosis Law School Admission Test. Now, uh, it is what, what programs does the law school offer? It offers BA LLB and BBA LLB programs. Okay. And there are four main campuses, four campuses for law, which are in Pune, Noida, Hyderabad and Nagpur. Pune is regarded as one of the best institutes out of all the four. Um, Available seats are 1080 in total, in total of all the four institutes because there are uh, about 180 seats for BA, BBLLB program and 120 seats for BA, BLLB program in one institute. So we have calculated the total number of seats and the total number comes out to be 1080 in total. Okay. And what is the mode of the exam? Mode of the exam is online. It will be conducted online like you've uh, seen the center based test. You will be allotted a center and there you will give your exam on a computer screen. Okay. So important dates. As we discussed in my previous video, uh, the dates have changed from that video. So my first video about SLAT was released in the month of January. That's when the form had opened. So the dates have changed from then. So application, the release of application form was on 25th of January and the SLAT mock test uh, was conducted on March 17. After that, the last date to apply for the examination has been changed to June 15. So even if you have not applied for it as of now, you can go back now and apply for the exam before June 15. Okay. Next is the exam date. Exam will be conducted on July, that is 3rd of July 2022 almost 20, 20, 25 days left for the exam. Then the result will be declared on July 12th. After the result is declared, you will be shortlisted for your PI, that is personal interview. So uh, once the personal interview round, which is the third component of the exam. So there are three components. We have discussed this in my previous video already. That was your SLAT exam, that is the MCQ based test. Then you have your VAT, that is writing ability test. And after VAT, you also have your personal in interview. So your SLAT exam, that is the MCQ test and your VAT will be conducted on the same day. Okay. So from 9 to 10 a.m. You'll, you'll have your MCQ based test and after that you'll have your uh, writing ability test on the same day itself. So the exam on the result on 12th July will be about your SLAT and your VAT. So the combined result of SLAT and VAT will be declared on 12th July and those who clear the cutoff will be selected for the personal interview round. After you appear for the personal interview round, again the merit list will be generated and you'll be, will be told whether you'll be selected in whichever university or not, uh, Pune, Noida, Hyderabad, which for which you've cleared your personal interview as well. Okay, so, and the dates of personal interview have not been announced yet. They will be announced separately by each law school. So once you clear your SLAT and the VAT exam, you will be notified as to which law schools you've uh, you've uh, you've been selected for right so sometimes it happens that you clear the cutoff for noida but not for pune so that way you'll get a separate mail from each university for which you have cleared the cutoff for the personal interview and then the further procedure will take on uh, for the personal interview okay Right, so these are the basic details again about the exam. Um, it will be online as I've already told you. It will be in English language. It will be for 60 minutes because there are in total 60 questions and all the questions are in MCQ pattern. And yes, number of questions is 60. You have 
and the maximum marks is also 60 there is no negative marking this is the best thing about this exam that there is no negative marking so yes you if you're not sure about any exam any question in the exam what you can do is just mark the option which you think could be correct so basically you can give your answer your flukes also and then there's no negative marking so please attempt all the questions you have 60 questions no negative marking so the best place to you know mark your flukes also because no negative marking then VAT. VAT will also be conducted on the same day. Now, this is the list of subjects and their weightage. So, there are five subjects and the subjects are pretty similar to your CLAT. That is your logical reasoning, your legal reasoning, analytical reasoning and uh, logical reasoning and the general knowledge and the English section. Yes, your reading comprehension, analytical reasoning. So, yes, these are all your sections that will be there in your exam in your slat mcq based test these are the sections and each section will carry 12 marks and each section will have 12 questions or one mark each so in total it will be 60 questions now let's analyze each and every section in detail and let's see how we can prepare in the last 25 days whatever the limited number of days we have for preparation how we can uh, prepare for each section okay before delving into the section wise strategy i would like to tell you that all the subjects are same as your CLAT and ALIT preparation or even for that matter MHCT. So you have studied all these subjects while preparing all these subjects like GK, English, Reasoning, Maths, Analytical Reasoning, everything you've studied already. What here, what is required here is that you need to strategize according to SLAT. How will you appear and how will you, how will you apply those concepts in SLAT and what are the important ones which you have to revise for SLAT once again because you have already studied all the concepts previously for CLAT, ALIT and, uh, and your MHCT and other entrance exams, right? So now you need to see what are the focus areas of SLAT and which are the topics which you need to revise once again for SLAT. So if we talk about GK and current affairs, there are questions from static GK and current affairs like there are in your uh, other, in, other law entrance exams as well. So you will find questions from history, geography, economics, international bodies and then current affair topics and your sports and your appointments and important days. So these are the common topics which are there throughout all the law entrance exams and this you have pretty much studied throughout your preparation right so GK should not be a problem if you have prepared well for your CLAT exam and your ALIT exam GK will not be a problem for you right the only difference is keep questions keep packaging allogogi. in your CLAT exam you are given a, a passage and from that passage you are given questions and here you will not be given any passage you just have to identify it will be MCQ based so you have to just mark the answers in the MCQ format Right? So, you must have studied throughout the year. So, GK section should not be a problem for you. Now, moving to analytical reasoning section. Now, uh, the important point to note here is that SLAT itself does not have any quantitative techniques or any math section per se. So, there is aisa koi naam ke liye math section nahi hota, but analytical reasoning ke andar we see that maths ke questions aate hain. And the, the best part here is that the math section is not very difficult. If you have studied the concepts of DI and your elementary maths topics such as profit and loss, percentage, mensuration, all of these basic topics of time, speed, distance, time and work and clocks, all of these topics which you've already studied for your CLAT preparation and your ALIT preparation. So ALIT now does not have maths, but you might have studied all these topics previously for your CLAT preparation, right? So all of these basic concepts of maths, elementary maths are covered. And the best part is that these are very easy. It's not, the, dif the difficulty level of analytical reasoning section is not high. It's easy to moderate. So even if you are someone who's not very confident in maths, the questions will be doable. The only thing required here is conceptual clarity you must have studied this these you know basic concepts previously and now what is required is a quick revision of all these uh, these topics so you can go and solve your practice sheets your topic wise sheets so you all have you know uh, questions on profit loss percentage time speed distance you have your topic wise sheets start revising them start solving them again and you might have solved such questions in your mock test as well so again Analytical reasoning is also pretty doable. You just need to focus on these elementary maths topics. Okay. 
Now moving to English section. English section is again uh, the difficulty level as observed in the previous year papers is from easy to moderate. It's not very difficult and questions are mostly in the form of reading comprehension. Most of the part of question uh, questions is covered in reading comprehension format and reading comprehension format has your uh, questions. The questions in the RC will also relate to your vocabulary, your grammar, your idioms and logics and grammar questions can also come separately not maybe if they are not from the passage then grammar questions can come from come separately from your grammar section right so that is also there so idioms and phrases analogies one word substitution sentence improvement and rearrangement error detection so all of these topics you've prepared for your a lit exam so CLAT English section specifically is RC section but you have studied all of the other topics all of these topics in your a -Lit preparation right so again English section is also something that you've already studied so there's no there's no scope for different strategy or different preparation here all you've studied for your a -Lit will be here and a -Lit English section is comparatively difficult however in SLAT the difficulty level of English section is again easy to moderate as I've already mentioned right so yes that's about it then you have your legal reasoning section now legal reasoning section again is uh, according to the previous the earlier clad pattern the clad pattern before 2019 so the clad pattern was uh, principle and fact based questions and also your legal maxim and your legal GK questions and current legal affairs questions. So this uh, in the same way SLAT also has your principle fact questions then your legal maxim questions then your um, assertion assertion reason questions and uh, yes your current affairs of legal current legal current affairs. So these are the type of questions that are asked in your SLAT. So yes, you must be prepared with torts, contracts and criminal law, then your legal terms, legal maxims, history of the Indian constitution, yes. So static legal GK may constitution ke important provisions, uh, fundamental rights, these are all the constitution ke history or uh, preamble and fundamental rights, which are the important topics of constitution, ke, wo sare legal, uh, static legal GK. Mein aate so these, these type of questions can also be asked in your legal, legal section and your GK question. So beware of that. Parliament, judiciary, executive, legislature and intellectual property rights, uh, WIPO and usse related jo, uh, provisions hai, you have to just go through them you'll find material online it's not very difficult just read about it uh, maybe difference bef between copyright and uh, patent all of these things just a basic understanding of it then you have important acts and laws legal events and current scenarios so basically your current legal affairs Now logical reasoning is again a very easy section, um, not uh, again, not something very easy but it, the difficulty level has been from more, in the previous year papers, the difficulty level has always been moderate to easy. So this is again manageable if you have enough practice for your ALIT. Um, in ALIT also you have prepared these, you've prepared for these type of questions, right? Your uh, puzzle questions, blood relations, series, syllogism and your argument and conclusion. So the difference between argument and conclusion questions in SLAT and your CLAT is that the arguments and conclusion questions are one-liners and usually short paragraphs but in CLAT you get one whole paragraph of maybe 300, 400 or 500 words and on the basis of that you have to find out your arguments, premises, conclusions but that is not the case here. Here uh, it will be very short, the questions will be mostly one-liners or statement based questions if they are of critical reasoning then it will be mostly one-liners like statement and course of action, statement assumption, statement conclusion and all of these you know one-liner questions. So the questions will be again you will have one minute going by 60 minutes you have 60 minutes and you have 60 questions so you have one minute per question. So yes uh, one minute to solve those questions is a pretty good and decent amount of time and considering the difficulty level also if you have prepared well for your a -Lit exam the logical reasoning section of a -Lit, if you've prepared well for that these type of questions will not be you will not find these type of questions very difficult and these will be very doable for you okay. Right, so we have covered all the five sections of SLAT preparation and we have covered the key areas of focus as well because I know that you all have studied for CLAT and ALIT. So all the topics have somewhere been covered in class or in module or in your mock test or in your um, sheets, your topic wise sheets. So all the topics that I just discussed have been 
no already covered in your classes and your video lectures and everything you've studied all of these things now you just need to know where to focus so i've already highlighted in my uh, ppt you can just go back take screenshots and whatever and note down the important key areas of focus and prepare and revise those topics accordingly okay now coming to another important section of slat so after your mcq based test which is known as the slat you will also have your vat what is vat vat is your writing ability test so once you are done with jab aapke wo 60 minutes over ho jayenge paper ke yani 9 se 10 baje uske immediately baad you will have your vat exam so what happens in vat exam you are given a topic so usually the pattern is you are given two topics and you have to pick one topic and write an essay on it so uh, usually two topics and yeah so there's an there's a choice between the two it's an or type question and you have to pick and choose and write accordingly so mostly we have observed that every year either both of the questions are from current affairs or one of the questions is from current affairs so uh, if you are well versed if you've been reading the newspapers thoroughly throughout the year if you are in touch with current affairs or the the current events what are the major events that are happening what are the major events that have been taking place throughout the world throughout the country then you will be you will have an added advantage here because if the topic one of the essay topics that comes is based on let's say russia ukraine conflict so russia ukraine con conflict has been a very heated topic and everybody is aware of it but when it comes to writing down an essay on it you need to have thorough understanding of the topic so if you have followed the current affairs and your newspapers thoroughly you will have an upper hand here so what is required for clat is like i have mentioned good knowledge of good knowledge of current affairs then second thing is that even if you have that knowledge it is very important to articulate that knowledge you should be able to that is what distinguishes but distinguishes a person of knowledge from a person who can articulate his knowledge well right so that is why this the whole purpose of the test that is what the purpose of this test is to understand how well you can articulate your opinion you might have a lot of knowledge but you might not be able to articulate it so that is why this exam is another differentiating factor right so you should articulate you should articulate your essay in such a manner that whoever is reading usko wo cheez samajh mein aani chahiye aur aapka opinion bhi reflect hona chahiye aisa nahi hona chahiye ki it, it's just a statement of facts just like you you just mere you're merely stating the facts or the information that you are aware of that should not be the case for example if the topic comes covid 19 then it should not be like covid 19 is a disease it started as an as a pan, as an endemic disease in china and then it spread out to the entire world and then you know uh, the covid restrictions were employed quarantine measures were employed throughout the world and now it has become a bit little better so if you just go on and write these things then it will not be very fruitful it will be just a mere statement of mere stating information about the topic that is given that should not be the case you should also provide your opinion or your critical analysis of the situation for example if it is the russia ukraine war you mention why what are the reasons of the war if you have followed the newspaper you know the reasons of the war so you know that there is a history of russia ukraine conflict and then you mention the crimea conflict and then you mention the role of nato and then you critically analyze all of these things you critically analyze all the events and then you state your conclusion as to what are what are your opinions what is your conclusion on the whole scenario whether it was good whether it was bad or are we peace loving or or what are the roles of you know international organizations such as the un in such conflicts and how neighboring countries can play a, ma a major role in such conflicts so if you just you know rather than just stating information about it you are state you are analyzing all the factors like you know the history of it and uh, role of other countries and everything so you are giving a holistic analysis of the situation and you are giving your own viewpoint so that shows that you are a well read person you know the situation you know all the factors that are very important or which are relevant to the to the situation and then you are also giving your critical analysis your positive value addition to the article so that is what differentiate differentiates a simple article which just states information about the topic from an article which gives a very holistic analysis and a very original analysis on the topic right so that is what you have to do so two key factors here are your knowledge and second your structuring of the arguments your uh, opinions so 
I have mentioned this IBC method. What is IBC method? IBC is basically introduction, body and conclusion. So introduction should always have some basic, I, basic information about the topic. Ki what is the Russia-Ukraine war? And why is it happening? What are the reasons for it? And then your main body should inculcate your original analysis of the situation. And then in the conclusion, you give a summarizing or a concluding statement as to what are your opinions. You conclude your opinions basically. Is that so yes, you can follow. This is how you can structure your arguments and your opinions on whatever topic you get. Okay, so follow the IBC method. Then fast typing speed because it's an online exam, online uh, writing ability test. That is why I have included this point, uh, this point of typing because if you, no matter how good you are or no matter how good your opinions or arguments are, if you're not able to type it down, again, it will be not fruitful, right? So practice typing online, maybe on computers or your laptops so that your typing speed increases and whatever pointers you have or whatever opinions you have, you are able to, you know, quickly deliver it on the day when it's required. Okay. So that's about it for your VAT preparation. If you follow these things, then you are sorted. Your writing ability test is sorted. Okay. So after the writing ability test, we also have the personal interview round. Now for the personal interview round, I will make a separate video because um, there are certain aspects in an interview that have to be elaborately told to you and uh, there are there are certain things with regards to particularly symbiosis entrance uh, personal interview which I will tell which I will you know tell you in detail in another video. So let's save this topic for another video. So yes, also. Uh, in I think in the month of February or I guess some some few months back, we had circulated this Google form which basically asked your questions on SLAT exam. So these are, I have just simply taken these questions from that Google form. I've copy pasted the questions and I will be quickly answering all these questions about your um, SLAT exam. And I think most of the questions have already been answered because the video covered most of the questions that are here, mentioned here. But still, let's just quickly, you know, go through the questions also. How different is SLAT written exam as compared to CLAT? So, the study material or the subjects are the same, but the type or the format of the questions is different. SLAT has your MCQ questions, but your CLAT examination has passage-based questions. So, that is the difference. Is it hard to crack, uh, crack SLAT with CLAT-oriented preparation? No, rather your CLAT preparation will aid in your SLAT preparation. And you also require some amount of ALIT preparation that will also aid your... So CLAT and ALIT preparation combined will suffice for your SLAT preparation, okay? Is Symbiosis Pune better than lower NLUs? Now, uh, I will state an authority uh, that is your... Uh, NIRF rankings, NIR, according to the NIRF rankings, Symbiosis Pune ranks 9th and that is above, it's, it's below few top NLUs and it's above certain NLUs. So yes, you can just check out the NIR, NIRF rankings and student reviews, you will find out. Okay. Then how to tackle the interview properly and what are the documents required? Okay, so interview wala part will be covered in the next video, I've already mentioned that. How to prepare CV properly so it looks attractive and smart? Okay, so this is an important question. Your second part of the question is relevant because um, CV plays a really important role in your interview and um, so you have to submit it with your examination form, right? So I'll tell you, follow a proper format. It should be a very formal CV. You cannot take any random, you know, sample from the internet and just copy paste it and put it. It has to be very scholarly and it has to be very, you know, uh, well formatted. It should look very decent. It should look very professional and avoid the usage of colors in your CV. So that's another thing that people, you know, uh, do that. They use a lot of colors. They, they make their CV on camera. Although it makes it look very attractive but at this stage it's not this interview is not for your employment or you don't have to impress someone it's just a very you have to get admission in a university so it should look very it should be very student oriented and not very very flowery not very decorative and it should be very succinct and very to the point it cannot be very elaborate you can't make a four page cv also so what i'll do is i will attach a sample CV in, in the description or maybe in the Telegram channel. So, uh, a sample CV will be provided to you. Okay. Paper difficulty in comparison to CLAT. It's almost similar. Easy to moderate. It, it's, it's almost similar. The difficulty level of CLAT and SLAT is almost similar. 
questions asked in the interview interview questions will be covered later placements of symbiosis so placements are good and if you check out the official website the packages were somewhere close to the highest package was i think somewhere close to 18 lakhs so yes the placements are pretty decent i think it's this particular this cow getting cut that is fee and other expenses so your fee will be somewhere so uh, in my first year the fee was somewhere between 3 3 lakhs to 3.5 lakh that is the tuition fee and apart from that other expenses will be your hostel expenses your accommodation your food and traveling expenses that differs for different people right so i'll just tell you the tuition fee that is somewhere close somewhere between 3 lakh to 3.5 lakhs in my first year it was the it, that was the fee so i've covered your fee point Then, uh, ma'am, what weightage does this SA one carries? Can it make us pass or fail? And how to write essay to score good and decent score in this section? Thank you. Okay, so VAT. You're talking about VAT. I've already discussed what VAT is and how you can do well in your VAT section. What weightage it carries? It's the, so the weightage according to the official website is fifty percent for your SLAT MCQ test, thirty percent for your VAT, and twenty percent for your personal interview. That is the weightage. How much factual knowledge? Um, so certain amount of factual knowledge is needed because if you don't know the facts, how will you form your opinion? So factual knowledge is very important, and the more the better because if the more you know, the more knowledge you have, the better and the more holistic analysis you will be able to provide, right? I'm confused whether it will be conducted online mode or offline. If it's online, then home based or center based. So it is online and it will be center based. Okay, um, about NMIMS and SLAT, if you're asking me the comparison, then you can simply have already mentioned that you can, you know, if you have to compare any colleges, you can check out the NIRF rankings and NIRF rankings have a very detailed, so they give you the rankings and you, you get an idea as to what is the standard or what is the ranking of that colleges. So if you want to see the NIRF rankings, you will find out that Symbiosis Pune is better than NMIMS law. So there's no personal bias here. I'm just referring to NIRF rankings. And according to that, Symbiosis Pune is better than NMIMS. Okay. Then a fee, I've already told you, which course is better, BA LLB or BBA LLB? So... Again, BLLB and BBLLB, this is your personal choice. I was a humanities student. I had subjects like history and political science. So I chose BLLB, but, uh, and mostly people from commerce background choose BBLLB. And that, this choice also depends on your career goals and your interests. So that can, that you have to decide for yourself. Okay. Okay. Which are the topics that we need to cover in logical and analytical reasoning? This should, uh, this question has been answered as I've already covered in the previous slide as to what has to be covered in your analytical and your logical reasoning sections, right? Can class 12th appearing presently in class 11 student give the test? So, no, you cannot take the test because you have to submit your 12th class, you know, passing certificate and your migration certificate and everything. So, there's a list of documents that you have to submit. So, you have to, you have to submit your 12th class mark sheet also. So, if you are in 12th, if you are appearing in 12th, I don't think you can, uh, without submitting the document, your form will not be filled. So, you, you, you will not be able to appear for the test. Okay. How to ace VAT? I've already covered, I've already covered how to, how to do your VAT. Then, when do one write the VAT? It is on the same day. Yes, it is on the same day, not later. Then, is that good for judiciary type of career? See, Wherever you study, judiciary is a completely different thing. Uh, judiciary, you have to have a good knowledge of the subjects that are required, which are a part of the syllabus of the judiciary exam that you're giving. So, for example, if you're appearing for RJS, that is Rajasthan Judicial Services, then you have to check out the list of syllabus. And if you think the faculty, whatever subjects are there, for example, if there's torts, contracts and uh, IPR, whatever laws are there, you, you should have a thorough understanding of those laws. So, uh, honestly, judiciary does not... So, your uh, college does not determine your judiciary selection. Your preparation determines that. And because Symbiosis is one of uh, a very good private universities, it does provide a good preparation for your judiciary exam. So, if you study well in your law school, you will be able to prepare for your judiciary exam. Okay. 
So procedure after exam and the fee structure. Fee structure I've already covered and then you have the procedure after exam. So after exam, once the SLAT is conducted, your VAT is conducted, the results are announced, you're shortlisted for personal interview. Once your personal interview is done, then the final result is declared and you will be sent a mail by separate universities. So for example, I had been selected in almost in all the universities. I got a mail from Pune, from Noida, from Hyderabad. And uh, I did not apply for Nagpur, so I, I got a mail from all these three universities. And then all the details as to how, where to submit the fee and how to submit further documents and everything, I got a mail in a separate mail. And then I selected my institute that was Symbiosis Pune. And I selected my uh, course that was BLLB program, BLLB honors. And uh, yeah, I got a mail as to what are the next, what are the next steps. And I followed the steps and we kept getting mails about the further steps. So yeah, um, so after PI, this will be the process. So yes, I hope uh, I have done justice to the topic and I've covered almost all the queries, not almost, I've, I've literally covered all the questions that the students had, you know, asked me. Still, if you have any further queries, you can mention your questions in the comment section below and I will surely answer your questions. All right. So with this, we come to an end of this video. Thank you so much, everyone, and all the best for your, your exam preparation. Thank you so much.